yo, peace was good. Um, welcome to another show my CD collection. This is part 31. Um, I got shitloads of CDs that I want to show you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not like I like I told you on my PSA. Um, I'm not gonna do the CD collections as much. Um, only because like you know I want to focus more on um, on album reviews. Like I want to do full length album reviews. Um, like I said before. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna completely stop doing it. I, I'm gonna do it, but just like I said, not as much. I mean, I got albums. Um, got a shitload of albums I have right in my possession right now that I got from like um. Amazon, eBay, as well as FYE purchases. I mean, no bullshit, guys. I mean, I got this that I'm gonna show you guys, and then I got this, and also got this too. All right, which means I'm gonna have to break them down in parts. You know, I mean, that's how much cheese I have, and plus I got joints that's coming in the mail, and I was gonna wait for those to come in the mail so I could do a full uh, complete. But I was like. I'm not even gonna do that because, like I said, like I don't want to, because I know you guys are fans of my CD collection um, videos. So and I, and also I just want to focus more on the full life review album reviews. So that's why I, I said that. But enough of the bullshit, enough of the talk. Uh, I know you guys want to see the CDs that I copped. Um, show you guys the first album of the um, of the video. Um, by the way, this collection are all Amazon, eBay, mostly eBay. All right, I got PMD's uh, Paris Smith's second album, released in 1996. I'm finally glad to have my hands on this album. Um, you guys should know who PMD is, you know, one half of the um, of EPMD. Very, 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 very dope MC in my opinion. Dope producer too. Um, very dope. I like this album a lot. Um, singles I was known for are. Leave Your Style Cramped, um, Rough, Rugged, and Raw, I mean, excuse me, Rugged and Raw, but the one with, um, the one with Dust Effects, because the one with Dust Effects is the remix, um, because in this album, he has, um, two versions, you got the original, which is just him by himself, and you got the remix, which is like the last track on the album with, um, Dust Effects, same beat, but, you know, Dust Effects is on, the song is featured on the song, that's the only difference, and, um, like I said, leave yourself cramped, rugged and raw, and it's the P. But it's the P ninety seven, um, the the one with Prodigy of Mob Deep, which is not featured on this album. That was like more of a, that was a twelve inch single, and I believe there's a video for that. If not, uh, I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, this is a very dope album. I actually like this album. I'm glad I own this album. I heard it before before I bought this album. But um, yeah, if you like dark beats, you know, you like. You know Eric Sermon, not Eric Sermon, but like you know EPMD, like mid '90s rugged dark beats. You know you'll definitely enjoy this album. Um, PMD Business is Business, released in 1996. Then we got uh, Rob Reed's first album, Looney Tunes, released in 1993. Uh, Looney Tunes that grew from the Bronx, New York. Um, the members of the group is uh, Mark Live. Um, Alexander the Great, um, DJ Solo Flicks, I think is his name. Yeah, yeah, D no, um, excuse me, DJ Solo Flicks, excuse me. Um, I don't know too much about Raw Breed. I mean, I know that they're they're um, affiliated with um, they're affiliated with with Ultimate Net MCs. You know what I mean? Uh, they 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 have close ties with them, so they're affiliated with them. Uh. This album only has two singles, which are Rabbit Stew, which I, I fucking love that song, and um, Open Season, and those are the singles off that album. Very dope, very early night. If you, really like, if you guys like early 90s boom bap hip hop, then you'll definitely enjoy this album. Uh, Raw Breed, Looney Tunes, released in 1993, pick it up. Then we got um, Crew, The Dirty um, the Dirty, Dirty, released in 1997. Um, very very dope album. I actually like this album a lot. It's pretty dope. Like I said, I've heard this. I heard a lot of these albums. I've heard before buying these albums. But yeah, um, Cool the Dirty. I don't know too much about them. I know members of the group is um Yogi, and I forgot the other other ones. But yeah, Bronx. They're a Bronx based group. Uh, singles I was known for are um Just Another Case featuring Slick Rick, which they have a video for. 
um, bubbling up north and um, yeah, up north, bubbling and Lisa Lips. But you know, Justin Other Case was like the more more known sing um single off the album. There's like I said, there's a video for it. Very dope. It's, it's a nice has like a nice um. Um, variety as far as like beats um, has like the commercial tracks but then it also got the street joints but um it's not corny but it's not like main it's, it has like mainstream vibe but it has like an underground vibe too it's like a nice mixture of the it's like a nice melting pot it's like but it's not corny mainstream if you know what I'm talking about but yeah um, I'm glad to own this album uh, a lot of these albums that I have are, are out of print so like I said I you know me I like to have like the you know, the, uh, not obscure, like, yes, like the obscure, obscure, like, like the rare out of print joints, and, you know, I'm crazy about that, but yeah, um, Crew, Crew to Dirty, released in 1997, then, I've been trying to get my hands on this, and I'm, I'm glad I had this album, uh, Jada on My Chick's first album, um, the Psychosocial Chemical Biological Electro Electromagnetic Manipulation of Human Consciousness album, also known as the Psychosocial album uh, for all my um, Jedi fans. Um, released in 1997. Um, the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> um, they came out with an EP called the Amber Probe EP, which came out back in um, 96. But what ended up happening was um, they had some of those songs and they put this album out on, on vinyl only. And um, Actually, this album actually came out in CD back in 2002. So this album actually came, this CD the CD version actually came out in 2002, but the actual album came out in 1997. But the vinyl, but it was only vinyl only. So they released it and they came out with this joint right here. Uh, fucking love this album. A lot of people think Violent by Design is their first album. It's not. This is their first album. But like I said, um. This album was vinyl release only, so and it was like really underground. Uh, the only single of this album is uh, is I Who Have Nothing. There is a video for it on YouTube. Definitely check that out. Very dope. Um, love this fucking album. Very dark, very gritty. Uh, yeah, expect a, a full review on these albums. Like all these albums that I show in the CD collection, I will be definitely doing. Uh, we'll be doing a full review. So stay tuned for those. All right. Um, Jedi Mind Tricks. Um, released in 1997. The Psycho Social LP. Released in 1997. Then we got um, the Arsonist. Um, as the World Burns released in 1999. Um, for those who don't know who the Arsonists are, they're a group from Brooklyn, New York, Bushwick, Brooklyn, uh, known for their affiliation with um, Bobito, of um, Stretch Bobito. Uh, that was like his artist, like, you know, when um, Stretch Bobito had their um, record label, Final Records, um, the Arsonists was actually one of their, um, one of their, uh, one of their artists, excuse me, sorry, I have like a brain fart. Um, finally, glad to own this album. Uh, singles I was known for are uh, uh, Power Maniacs, I believe was a single. Uh, the Session, uh, Session, which came out back in 96. Um, yeah, Session, Power Maniacs. Uh, Venom, I believe was a single too. Um, flashback, I think it was a single. Backdraft 2 as well. Um, yeah, very, very dope album. Glad to own this album. Um, definitely has like a real dark vibe to it, but in a hip hop form, you know what I mean? But yeah, glad to own this album. Arsonist, um, As a World Burns, released in 1999, excuse me. Then we got the second album, um, The Arsonist Date of Birth, released in 2001. Um, yeah. Dope album, I like it. It's not as good as the first album, but it's definitely good to own. Um, I don't believe the only singles I believe they're um is known for are um We Be About and What You Want, but um they were like more underground singles, and I don't believe there's, vi there's videos for these. But yeah, very very dope album. Um, my introduction, my introduction to um Arsonist is um was back in junior high school, back in like 1999. Um, they had a video called um, 
I think it was called 14 Years of Rap, where um, it was arsonist featuring nonfiction. You seen Ill Bill, like a very young Ill Bill, you know, with Sub Subak Red and um, Gore Tex, and there was a video. It was like the video is it starts off with like um, like you, you see them like in like I can like like in a game show type of or like an an arena type of setting, and then you see see them like you know blazing the mics, you know, and that was like my introduction to um. To um, to arsonists, and this is before YouTube. You know, uh, this is when you were downloading videos from like Kazaa or like um Amazon. I mean, not Amazon, um Napster and shit like that. But yeah, uh, Date of Birth by Arsonist released in two thousand one. Then we got um Ultra Magnetic MC's second album, Funk Your Head Up, released in nineteen ninety two. Been trying to get my hands on this album for years. I mean, I've been trying to for it for a long time. Finally got it. This was the eBay release. Um, purchase, excuse me. Um, everybody should know who Ultra Magnet MCs are. Um, <clears throat> fuck your head up. Like I said, uh, singles is I'm known for. It's only two singles off the album, which is um, uh, make it happen. Yeah, make it happen and pop a large. Um, but the pop a large version that um the video has is the beat minus version. Um, very very dope. You can find that those both videos on YouTube. But yeah, glad to own this album. Um, fuck your head up. About MCs released in 1992. Um, then next album is uh Robbie's second album or third album. I'll explain why I say that. Um, uh, Blood Sweat and Tears released in 1987. Fucking love this album. I like this album a lot better than the first album, uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, this album is like a lot more darker. The beats are more darker. Um, yeah, very, very dope. Uh, singles those albums known for are Everything's Lovely featuring TR Love and um, Sludge the Roughneck or um, T Nat Turner, aka Nat Turner. Um, and um, I Won In, which were um, two singles, but um, Everything's Lovely is um they have a video for that uh definitely check that out on youtube um but the reason why i say is that third album is because they have an unreleased album called killer instinct which came out which was um which was supposedly released in 1990 which was recorded in 1996 and um they released it they released it on um, disney back in like i think 2010 but um i want them to release it Physically, I want the physical copy of that shit. If you guys, if any, any of the members of Raw Breed come out, I'm gonna see this video, which I highly doubt. But if anybody that knows Raw Breed personally and they see this video, tell them they need to put out the fucking physical copy of Killer Instinct. I want that shit. Um, and that'll complete my, um, my, uh, brain fart, my discography of Raw Breed. But yeah, um, glad to own this album. Very dope. Uh, highly recommend it. If you guys like mid '90s hip hop, then you'll definitely East Coast boom bap. Then you'll definitely enjoy this album. Then we got uh, Screwball Royalty. This is that second album released in 2001. Uh, Screwball is a Queensbridge, yeah, Queensbridge based group. Um, kisses the members of um, Black Poet. Everybody knows Black Poet. Um, KL. AK Kamikaze, rest in peace by the way, uh, who died back in 2010 of an asthma attack. Um, your daughter with us, and rest in peace, Killer Shot, too. Um, yeah, like I said, Kamikaze, KO, um, Black Poet, um, Hostile, um, Chiron, and um, that's it, those are the four members of the group. Um, Screwball, I mean, fucking dope, dope, dope beats, man. Dope, um, dope hip hop, man. If you guys like, um, I kind of, I kind of compared it to like MOP, but not, a, but a milder version of MOP, if that makes sense. Um, the only singles this album is known for is Torture Feature MOP. <laughs> it's funny I said that, but yeah, Screwball, very, very dope hip hop group, very underrated. Um, yeah, Screwball Royalty released in 2001. This is their. Um, second album. Uh, I need to get my hands on this first album, Y2K, which came out in 1999. Uh, that's another dope album too. 
Um, then we got uh, Screwball Screwed Up, um, released in 2004. Uh, this album is more of a is a compilation album. It's pretty much songs. Um, it consists of songs um, from the first two albums. Not all of them, but some of them from the first two albums, and as well as like um, you know, songs that was featured on EPs, um, compilations, um, twelve inches and shit like that. Um, if you guys like Screwball, if you're a fan of them, you should definitely own this album. Uh, Screwball, um, Screwed Up, released in 2004. Then we got um, last, um, not last but not least, but um, but from the Screwball pickups that I bought um, is a uh, Hostile. Um, of Screwball fame uh, for his debut album, um, One Eyed Maniac, released in 2004. Um, glad to own this album. Definitely love uh, Hostile. I think he's like, to me, him and um, Black Port, in my opinion, are my favorite, are my favorite members of the group. Um, but yeah, fucking dope, dope, dope album. Glad to own this album. Very dope. Uh, singles I'm known for, I believe, are. I believe um, you know the name, which was a single that came out back in 2002. Um, yeah, very dope album. Then we got um, I finally. This is my second time buying this album. Is um, Wu Tang Kill Beats, um, The Swarm Volume One, released in 1998. Um, you guys know about this album because I said that in my hip hop album reviews when I did many reviews. But yeah, uh, Wu Tang Kill Beats. Uh, the Swan Body One, fucking love this album. This is a classic album. I don't care what nobody says. This is a fucking classic. If you're a woo head, even a hip hop fan, you should own this fucking album. I'm telling you. Uh, singles is almost known for uh, um, Bronx War Stories, um, featuring um, which uh, was performed by AIG, who is uh, you know woo affiliate. Um, and Cobra Clutch, which um, by Coastface Killer, which both videos uh, have videos, and I believe Code Defender was a single too. Um, I think that's the one with Shaheem. Um, and nine, 97 Mentality, which was um, by Cabadonna, which was a single too. Um, very fucking dope album. Um, Never Again with, um, with Remedy. Uh, Jewish MC from Staten Island, fucking dope song. Um, Never again. Uh, which he um, describes uh, the Holocaust in hip hop form. That shit is so fucking ill. I, that song needs to be talked about a lot more in my opinion. But yeah, this is um Wu Tang Killer Bees, the song Volume One, based in 1988. The Wu Tang Killer Bees is pretty much a whole bunch of Wu affiliated MCs. Form together and you got Wu Tang Killer Bees. Um, you got people like, um, like I say, AIG, um, Royal Fam, um, a shitload of people. You know what I mean? But I'm glad to own this album. You can pick it up if you can find it. It's actually out of print. Then we got a uh, Baby J uh, presents Birth. This is a debut album. Baby J is a, M uh, is a, is a UK based MC. I mean, no, excuse me, UK producer. Um, you know, is a UK based producer and what he did that he just hired a whole bunch of MCs from the United States which is uh, excuse me which is consists of mostly Wu affiliated MCs and then got them rapping on his beats and then you got this so if you guys like Wu, uh, uh, Wu style beats then you'll definitely enjoy this album uh singles on uh, um the only singles off this album I believe are um what are the singles? Um, Savior featuring Poetic of um, Grave Diggers, Rest in Peace Poetic. Um, Walk with a Bop, Walk with a Bop um, featuring Air Likes. Air Likes is a group um, from Brooklyn, New York, who's affiliated with Dead Prez. And um, The Lamb's Blood featuring um, uh, Shabazz's Disciple. Everybody knows Shab Shabazz's Disciple. He was affiliated with Sons of Man. He was part of Sons of Man at one point. He was a real affiliate. Shabazz, he's one of the most underrated um, MCs in my opinion. I uh, fucking love that dude. His flow, his storytelling, his choices of beats. I mean, you can't go wrong with that dude. And that's it. Like I said, um, if you guys like new style beats, you'll definitely enjoy the style. Um, pick it up if you can find it. 
And then last but not least is uh, Casual with his debut album, Fair Itself, released in 1984. Casual, um, he's um, part of the whole Hieroglyphics crew. Uh, like I said, it's his debut album. Uh, single song is known for is Me Oh My, Me Oh My Oh. Um, that's how it is, which was the first single. And um, I think I didn't mean to as well. But yeah, glad to own this album. Pick it up. And that's it for the CD collection. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace.